morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. Yes, I said Sunday. I'm off Sunday, Monday this weekend. By good morning, I mean happy afternoon. It's like three in the afternoon. Oops. So what have we done today so far? We slept in. So for those of you that came to our live stream last night, thank you so much. That was literally so much fun. I was quite nervous before we started. Naturally, I'm a shy, kind of introverted person until I get to know you, then I'm freaking wild, but uh, <laughs> I'm very shy. So to get on camera live, unedited, like this is me. Now, when it comes to live streams, I just have to say this, Super Jacob, how do you do it? So we were on live stream for three hours last night and I woke up raspy voiced and exhausted. I don't know how you do an entire Saturday. So kudos to you, quite honestly. Now we're about to go out to lunch. Zane is starving. I mean, it's three in the afternoon. We had our, what were they? Frosted flakes this morning. So we're both a little hungry. He just wants fast cash. So we're not dressing up. Like what you see is what you get. My favorite Target sweatsuit. And I'm about to switch bags. So does anyone want to see what I'm switching into? Switching from the lovely and ever perfect YSL Muse 2. Honestly, you guys, it's just, it's really big and heavy heavy today and I'm just kind of feeling like TBE energy. So we're switching over to the coach. Is this the Nikita, you guys? I should probably know that. As you can tell, I haven't carried it yet. Zane's waving to you guys. This is the shearling bag that we got in the Thanksgiving Day vlog. If you haven't watched that yet, link down in the description. And we're switching into, I think this card case would look really cute with it. We're just going with casual weekend vibes today, right? I love it. So let me get this switched um, because I am starving. All right, so we just left Half Price Books and we had a pretty good haul. So next up, we need to run to everyone's favorite place, Target. Obviously, it's not a weekend vlog about it. I got a book, a Target book, actually. So let's go get some supplies and then we'll head home and do an unboxing. No. No? Okay. So we just left Target. I mean, hello. We can vlog without a Target run. Like, let's be real. We're probably gonna go again tomorrow. Love that for us. Anyway, I wanted to share two stories with you that happened to me inside the Target today. I was both personally attacked and said something weird. What's this face for? You said that you personally attacked me. Oh, I personally attacked you. So I was on Instagram, as one does, you know, when you're waking up in the morning. I came across this really cute picture of a kitchen. And they had these, like, boxwoods and a beautiful blue and white bowl like they had two and then like a third smaller one in the terracotta pot i'm like oh i could easily replicate that i already have a lemon tree in a blue and white bowl so i just need to find a boxwood and then that'll be an excuse to buy another blue and white bowl it's a whole thing anyway so i didn't see the boxwood trees there at target so i am like well do you want to go to the, the pottery barn outlet tomorrow he goes no i'm like oh well that was a quick answer and he's like well you're a, pa a passenger princess so you don't have to do all the driving i'm like it's an hour drive yeah because you drive like an old lady i'm just kidding no, I he's don't. 
His driving terrifies me. The second thing, the second thing, you guys. So we buy Grove & Co. cleaning products, you know, less plastic waste, yada, yada, good for the environment. I like their scents. Mm -hmm. We ran out of both dish liquid and hand soap. So I was like, well, you know, I need to buy them. And it'd be kind of cute if like we, you know, bought matching scents because that's who I am. 34. I was opening up the canisters and smelling them to decide what scent I wanted and this lady was behind me clearly waiting for me to get out of the way and like probably looking at me weird like why is this guy opening up all the scents? So I opened one up and I, I smell it go, oh it's lemon. I had to walk away. <laughs> I was like I didn't, I didn't know what else to say and I didn't want to look like some weirdo just sniffing things so I thought by saying oh it's lemon would, she, would make the situation better. She sniff things too. Well I felt awkward. She's a sniffer. She's a sniffer. Lady you're a sniffer if you see this. Sniffer. I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, Zane has promised to, to stop at Starbies. I've earned a Starbies treat. I was told to stop at Starbies. No, you mm -hmm. offer because you're so nice to me. <laughs> All right, I need some cold Zane. All right, I got my beauty sleep. We took a little nap, love a nap moment. Last of Us is about to start in probably about like half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what we picked up today at the store. I bought some really fun stuff. So let's take a look. Oh, it's lemon. <laughs> All right, so the highlight from Target, aside from the it's lemon soap, I bought a jewelry box. This is from their Bright Day collection, I think. And I really like this one because you have the rings and like little odds and ends up here at the first drawer. And I love all the little compartments. It's all kind of like in a soft lock, so it'll kind of protect everything. Brooches, bigger rings, things like that on this drawer. And then down here, just a big open space, which is nice. Ooh, a silica packet, love that. And what's really cool too, is you can kind of tell it has ridges. You can stack these. I mean, amazing, right? Now from half price, since Zane didn't want to do an unboxing, he got nerd books, um, Nintendo Game Secrets, okay cute cover. We love a little green wizard fella. This is Dirge of... This is a book, a Final Fantasy book. He's a video game book. He's, <laughs> magic guy. he's judging me as I talk about this stuff. PS2 game. PS2 games. Follow me on Twitch. I'm just kidding. Not yet. <laughs> um, Shining Tears. PS2 game. Okay, cool. Crystal Chronicles. Mm. And this is the book I got. <laughs> So this was um, 20 years of design at Target. This was out several years ago. What I want to point out is, I probably have a lot of this stuff, quite honestly. That was my telephone in high school and middle school, actually. Uh, my Michael Graves phone. I still have it, actually. We just don't have a landline. I should probably put it out. Also, from the Michael Graves collection, I had quite a few of this, actually, in middle school. I was really into, like, modern. No, that's body work. Okay. Well, I also had the wall clock, so do with that information what you will. Anyway, I'm super excited to flip through this and kind of relive some of, like, the fun Target things of the past. And if I see some highlights, maybe I'll point them out to you guys in a little bit. Zane had this Hunter backpack. And we had a couple of crossbodies, too, but they don't have them. I have it. Oh, you still have that? Yeah. Oh, well, he still has it, folks. You're right here first. Wow. This feed collection, we randomly had a few pieces from that, actually, as well. I actually still have the Philip Lim Boom Scarf and the Camouflage Sweatshirt from 2013. Probably worn the sweatshirt once and never did anything with the scarf. All right, for the 2012 Neiman Marcus collection, I had the men's Tom Brown sweater. We had this canister, all of the Christmas ornaments, the cocktail shaker, which is still on the bar, the letter opener. I think it got lost in a fire. I think we had these cocktail shot glasses too from Rag and & Bone. And... Oh, I remember I wanted that. I think, no, I don't think I ever bought the glasses. Here's more of the Christmas ornaments. They are stunning. That was a really good collection. I'm, I'm really missing a lot of these. These were so cool. I still have my Stephen Sprouse visor. <laughs> okay, so quite honestly, really good book. Fun to flip through and kind of see pieces from the past. So if you can still get your hands on this book, grab it. It's kind of cute. Um, they actually skipped quite a bit in my opinion. Does anyone else remember the Grayson for Target collection? I had the really cool clear tote with like the blue leather. If anyone has that or knows where I can get one, I will totally buy it off of you because I lost that one in a fire too. And it was a super cute tote. I'm gonna make some cinnamon rolls. We're gonna settle in and then get ready guys because it's Last of Us. I don't know how episode four is gonna be any better than episode three because episode three was perfection, but they might find a way. We'll see. 
All right, so I just whipped these up. I made them completely from scratch. Let me just get this out of the way. Um, family recipe, super good. And I am excited to watch Last of Us. <laughs> All right, so we just finished episode four of The Last of Us, and again, knocked it out of the park. Super amazing. Before we head out today and get things done, I am switching bags yet again, because why? It's the weekend and I can. We started out with the YSL Muse 2 in the blue colorway. I absolutely love that bag. And I know in my live, if you guys caught that, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to force myself to carry it all weekend and come up with looks and then do a photogram, photogram, photo shoot for the Instagram. And I love the bag, but I already carried it like a few days last week. So I'm, I'm ready for something new. So then we switched over to the, I think this is the Nikita from Coach. I don't know if the Nikita is the small one and this is something else. Essentially the same thing, just kind of like a little swinger pouch. I liked it. Don't get me wrong, but like it doesn't feel very luxe. I said what I said, don't hate me. Like, don't get me wrong, super cute bag. I got it, yeah, Black Friday weekend. So I think I got a good deal on it. Don't ask me what it was, I don't remember. But I do remember when I unboxed it and I was like, oh, $428. And I'm like, there's absolutely no way. After carrying it, again, my my verdict still stands. There's absolutely no way. Behind the shearling, you can feel like the, the structure panel and it just kind of feels cheap. Oh, I even hate the word cheap and I even said it. I mean, for what I paid, it's it's not disappointing, but it's disappointing. And we all know how I feel about the horse and carriage, the coach, and then the New York lozenge. It's just too much. Pare it down, coach. It'll look a lot more luxe if you pared it down. After carrying all this, I'm already in my Suhali wallet inside my Muse 2. So what am I going to switch into? Lange GM. <laughs> Again, I don't speak French, so don't tell me how terrible it sounds because I already know. Thank you so much. But I absolutely love this bag. And honestly, I've been dying to carry it, especially since I found out that it may or may not have come in a multicolor option. Gosh, I love that bag. I have this whole outfit planned in my mind for today, so I, I think it's going to be fire. Watch, I look stupid, but... That's, that's what fashion's all about, taking risks and learning from your mistakes. All right, so we are finally out and about and we are at the post office. I'm gonna go check my PO box. Zane, meanwhile, is trying to figure out how to hook up the emissions test computer. They don't have an attendant come out and do it? Not when I saw the need to. Oh, my man's prepared, he did research. Emissions test, that's not something we had to do back home in Indiana. Keep your fingers crossed, I hope we pass. was an experience. <laughs> so we pull in. The guy's like yanking on the door before we even put it in park, so it's locked. Well, obviously, it self locks. Yeah, duh. Very military. He was like, stand over here. Yeah, driver out of the car, passenger can stay. Like, stand over here. I'm like, okay, whoa. Why, am I, why is this happening? <laughs> the YouTube video I saw was a yeah. kiosk. Uh -huh. Self serve. My anxiety could not handle that. No, poor Zane. And of course, he got out without his cell phone, so I'm just like awkwardly sitting here scrolling through my Instagram. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Well, this guy's like hanging in the car. I'm like, hey, bestie. Super freaking awkward. Dude, zero out of 10, do not recommend. We have to do it for another two years though. Thank God.
All right, guys, so we just had lunch at P.F. Chang's and it was delicious. However, recap, so we had this stressful event at the admissions place. So that kind of tipped our anxiety a little bit. And then, would you like to tell them what happened? Um, I'd like to preface this, this. <laughs> preface this, this. I suffer from <clears throat> bloody noses, have my whole entire life. It's really bad in the winter. Especially during the winter. And I've been bad about not using saline recently. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Boom! As I'm eating dinner, boom! I feel it. I'm like, ah, oh, crap! I got a bloody nose, so I had to go to the restroom. Excuse myself. So that I had took to forever. Yeah, and I had to sit there awkwardly by myself. So we don't <clears> want to <throat> walk around the mall risking no. our bloody nose because it's borderline right now. That's for sure. We're just gonna get. You should plan. To, well, you know, I, I don't have know. napkins on. Anyway, yeah, we were gonna go to the mall, um, hit the Chanel counter because your boy needs some lip balm. I don't need a bleed over Chanel. No, please don't bleed it, Chanel. <laughs> it's like here, I came to Paris to scoop into you, or Zane came to Neiman Marcus to bleed at Chanel. Bleed at Chanel. So we're not, we're not here for that. We're also gonna go to um, what's the all these brothers' name? Trader, Trader Joe's, the whimsical store. We're gonna go there for groceries for the week. Anyway, guys, let's go home. I hear Starby's calling my name, and this time you're not getting out of it. Also. The first major outing, like this has gone to the office with me before, but the first like major, well, the emissions testing place in P.F. Chang's, so not major, but this, this bad boy's it heavy. Almost went to a mall. Almost, almost. Neiman Marcus is right there, I can see it. But I ruined that. Same ruined it. That's okay, I really didn't feel like walking around the mall anyway. I need Starbies, take me home. <laughs> Alright guys, so it is 10.30 and I just finished filming Wednesday's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know, did you? That's that. That's that for the weekend. We didn't do a whole lot. In fact, we did very little, so I don't know how fun this one's gonna be. I mean, we saw some bag candy and we went to P.F. Chang's, so that's gotta count for something, right? I'm not gonna be on here Sunday. There's not gonna be a new Sunday video because there's a sporting event, I guess? Super Bowl? Whatever. What is that? Is that, is that basketball? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, sports. Anyway, so there's not going to be a video on Sunday, so thank you for joining us for another fun and chill weekend. That's all there is to it. Bye. <laughs>